you know, they captured one of the most wanted men in the world in uh, Belgium mm, today mm -hmm. from uh, relating to the uh, par Paris attacks, Salah Adeslam. Um, he was wounded. They got him. Um, good stuff? Oh, yeah. I knew that they were probing close to the core when they picked up a guy in Belgium the other day. Those guys had their headquarters in their little cell just blocks from the police station there in Brussels. And to get him and knock him off, I mean, there's only one way to deal with these people. Kill them. Now, that's, that's not a wholesome statement from a human, but let me tell you, these, are, these guys aren't human. They're subhuman. They're animals. And now the other one now, they have something in the, their religious thing that uh, you're not supposed to play around with another woman unless they're, unless they're not pregnant. So they're feeding them contraceptives and then raping them. I oh, mean, you're talking about ISIS. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not for the sex slaves. That's uh, what ISIS well, is doing. Well, I know, but, yeah. but that's what they do. And then they behead people, and they cut them up, and they burn them alive. These kill the bastards. Yeah, all right. Well, now, if you kill, like if this guy had been killed in this raid, they wouldn't be able to get, hopefully, intelligence out of him. And that leads me to another question. Should, I don't, you know, whether it's here, we're not going to get him, but should this guy at the very least have his head stuck underwater to make him talk if he won't talk? Do you have a problem with that? Uh, honestly, you can get in all the hypotheticals. When you catch a guy that's got blood all over his fingers and skin under his fingernails and then treat him with the Marcus of Queensbury rules, you've got to be stupid.